So what we see in this organisation, I'll give you uh, just a couple of examples of artificial intelligence applications that we use. So one is uh, automated translation. We have image searching uh, on the basis of machine learning uh, as another artificial intelligence application. So take the Mercedes symbol as one well-known symbol. Well, last year, uh, or the year before, in 2017, around the world there were 12 million trademark applications filed. Now, someone has to search those uh, to see uh, whether an application is infringing or copying uh, the Mercedes symbol, let's say. Now, for humans, that's an extraordinary task. But a machine, based on uh, artificial intelligence, can do it in a, in a second. Uh, so this is obviously a great, uh, you know, advance and step forward. Another one that we'll unveil this year is, uh, is really voice recognition, uh, speech to text. So we do long, long reports, 70 pages, 80 pages, 90 pages of verbatim reports of meetings. Uh, but we are developing an artificial app uh, intelligence-based application where as I speak now, for example, the words would be appearing on the screen. Uh, through uh, voice recognition. I think the developments are, in this area, extremely positive. Of course, there are some negative developments in the field of artificial intelligence, but generally the movement is towards higher value.